walking on. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna start from the government. It has my back pattern. This one, I'm not going to gum it. The back pattern. I'm not going to gum this side. And also my piercing. Here's my piercing. This one's this is the only uh, you know pattern but I'm not going to come. Then this one is my front pattern. I'm going to come it. The front pattern, I want to go the front pattern. Remember I gave Mark here seven inch seven and a half inch the time I'm, I'm cutting it. You don't know how to cut it, check my last video on how to cut your trousers. Now I'm going to place it from that that mark that I gave. I'm going to come in this way. I can see how I fold it. I have talked to you guys how to come my trouser. You can also check my my previous video on how to come your trouser. I just want to start from the beginning. So that you guys will understand everything that I'm that I'm doing. Also, the other side, I want to come it also like that. The same way I come, I come the first one. Here's my front pattern. The two of them. I've come the two, the two of them. You can see. Okay, now the next one I'm going to come now is the flap. The zip flap, that's it. This is how I'm going to come it. This one I'm going to come it double. I'm going to come it double. I'm coming, I'm coming the left side of it. You know, there are two. You can see how I've come it. Don't go anywhere straight beside you, you understand what all I'm doing. Now it's my waist pocket. For the two waist pockets, I need four, four patterns. I'm going to come to this way. This is the first two. You can see how I'm coming it. Here's the first two. The other ones I'm going to come it also like that. But this time I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to fold it like this. These two. I did not fold two. But the other two I'm going to fold it. Like I'm doing now. You can see. Also for this one, fold two and lift two. You can see my waist, waist pocket for the two of them. Now next time I'm going to come nice my waist. This my waist. There are two. You can use hem and gum if your gum is not coming very well because your waist needs to be gummed very well. If your waist is not coming very well, use hem and gum and gum it. But this this my gum this my gum is happy, so I don't need hem and gum. I'm going to fold it this way. After coming it, I'm going to fold it. I see how I'm coming. If you have any questions, ask on the comment section and I will get to you. You can see how I'm coming. So, the other side, I'm going to commit them. There are two. 
the other side I'm, I'm also going to commit the same way and come this first one the same thing no difference you can see here's the two of them now my coming is complete okay now um, we are going to sword this trouser we're going to join all the species together to form a trouser so don't go anywhere stay with me before them i'm going to cut my my, my pocket in you can see here's my pocket in the length is starting why the width is 14 this is 7 7 plus 7 is 14 it is 14 to 2 okay now next thing is my back pocket in you can see Now the length is 20, 20 is okay, and the width is 18, I'm sorry, 8 and a half. So stay with me, don't go anywhere, let's join these pieces to form a trouser. Okay, now I'm going to start from the front pattern. I'm going to fit the front pocket first before any other thing. I'm starting from the front pocket. I just want to watch carefully. And if you have, a, if you have a, a, any question, ask on the comment section. Then I will get to you. So watch very carefully. This is just simple. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Throw it away, see if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose. But if I'm gonna lose you Okay, now as you can see, 
this pocket is now ready my front pocket is already remember there are two patterns there are two patterns i'm going to fix um, the other side like this i can see how neat the pocket is i'm going to fix the other side the same way i fit this one there's no difference just that this one is left and this one is right there's no difference between the two of them just that they have left and right but it's the same pattern of fixing if you want to fix it you're going to fix it the same way you fix this one so there's no difference and then after that this is what I'm, we're going to have you can see I see that there's no difference between the two of them they have the same thing the, the same pattern everything the same thing put the pocket in and everything I can see The next thing I'm going to fix now, I'm going to fix the back pocket. You can see there are also two. I still have two patterns. So I, I watched the like, watch every cafe. Like, you can see where I this mark. I give this mark the time I, I, I was cutting it. So if you don't know how to cut your trouser, you can check my video on how to cut your trouser. And you understand. Or you do here to one and a half inches, okay. Yes, my dad. And I'm going to measure it three and a half inches, okay. So, wait very carefully. This is one of the best and simplest method to fix your back pocket. And I hope you guys are going to understand it very well. In case if you have any question, don't forget to ask on the comment section. And I'll get, to, I'll get back to you. Yeah, now my, my back pocket, I'm going to do it five and a half in the back pocket by two. I'm going to put it by two like this. Then the center, I'm going to place it at that dart like this, so that I will get accurate uh, measurement of, of the both sides. You can see. So work very carefully. This is one of the simplest method, method you, can, you can find on YouTube. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet for more videos. But I have many more to teach you guys. I'm just starting. I'm a, I'm, I'm a new YouTuber, and I have like thousands of videos to teach you guys on fashion tutorial. So subscribe and hit the notification button for more details, more video.
walking away Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now Hey, when I lose But if I'm gonna lose you I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this I'm up all day, all night, me playing our last fight Now in hindsight, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this Yeah, kinda hate myself sometimes Everything was on the line Didn't wanna be the one who had to say it No, I can't move one at a time Promise I'll put down my pride Don't look back because I mean it when I say it Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Throw it away, see if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose. But if I'm gonna lose you I'm gonna lose it I'm gonna lose it I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in Sometimes everything was on the line Didn't wanna be the one who had to say it No, I can't move one at a time Promise I'll put down my pride Don't look back because I mean it when I say it Okay, here also I can see this pocket is also ready. I can see it's very very simple pattern. I'm also going to fix the back, uh, the other side like the same way. And this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to fix the other side the same way, same pattern. Just the difference that they are left and the right. But the pattern the, of the same is something that no difference between the two of them. The same way I fix the first one, I fix the second one. The next I'm going to cut nice my landing. I've already taught you guys how to cut your trotter landing. I can see this one is folded into two, like this. It's my, this is the lantern I'm going to use. 
split my front pattern on top like this. Because from the crotch here, I'm going to make sure that like, season cheese is okay. Season, season cheese is okay for the length. And here, I'm also I'm going to make sure that like, 2 inch is okay. I'm not going to cut it exactly. I'm going to give like 2 inch gap. Then I'm cutting it with the shape of the front pattern. Like this, very simple. Please, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the share button for more tutorial lessons so that I have more to you guys of the tutorial. As you can see, here's my landing. There are two for the two pattern. Then the next thing I'm going to cut now is my flat toner. I'm going to cut, cut my flat toner. The first one, I'm going to cut it this way, like this. So stay with me, sir. You guys will see we are going to fish this landing, the piece of landing. So don't go anywhere. Stay with me to the end of this video. That uh, you, you will understand all that I'm, that I'm doing. Okay, now for the second one. It's not going to be big. This is okay for the flap toner. Can I see? Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. Now before I fix my landing, this landing I have not with it. The, the damn part of it, I'm going to fold it like this. Double folding. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around, throw it away. See if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose. But if I'm gonna lose you Okay, here yeah, that twin is going to fold it one by the side like this, one side. I can see how I fold it. I can see how I fold the landing by the side. That twin is that I added when I was cutting it. Then I'm going to fish the other side the same way. I fish this one. There's no difference. Remember, there's the same pattern, just there, front and uh, left and right.
walking away. Okay, now after the landing, I'm going to press it very well. You can see, I have finished pressing it. Press it very well. Now, the next thing I'm going to fix now is my front zip, my total front zip. And this is how I'm going to fold it. I fold the both, the, the, you know, the front together. And I'm going to measure uh, six and a half inch. It's okay for the zip. I want to take it the mark. My seat off. Okay, now as you can see the mark. The mark is small. The mark is not that big. So now I'm going to fit my zip. But now I'm, for then I'm going to check, check my zip very well. Make sure that my zip is okay. Then I'll place it. At the right side of my pattern i'm just doing this one that i did not gum you know there are two this one that i did not gum first of all sew your zip first so that your zip will lap you can see we are stopped at that mark and that is where the zip ends then the flap pattern you can see how i put the zip the flap pattern i'm going to put on top like this then sew it Now this is what I have here, you can see, this is what I have. Okay, now I'm going to sew the, 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 the other pattern the same way I sew this one. But the difference is that this one doesn't have any zip. But it's almost the same thing. Just watch here very carefully. Remember this one, I, I come this one. Then I'm going to place it like this. Then sew it straight and stop at that mark. This we are stopped. Then I'm going to turn it. You can see? Then fold it like this. You can see how I fold it. Then I'm going to stitch it. From that line, from that mark. Okay, now I'm going to, I can see how I stitch it. I'm going to shape the flap. I'm going to shape it a little because it's too much like that. The both sides, I'm going to shape it the same way. Now I'm going to close the flap, the closed side. I'm going to put this one on top of it. And make sure the both sides are equal. They are together equal. Now I'm going to get this hook, this hook here, let me open it, I'm going to start from that hook, with the, with the measurement of, the, of this hook, to sew it inside here, you can fill it with your hand, Double stitching. I'm turning the stitching. I can see. Okay, here I'm not going to lock the zip like this. Very simple.
walking away Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Okay, now my fancy pie is ready. Can I see? Tram flow. Press the pattern to follow. Can I see? Now, the next thing I'm going to do now is attach the back pattern. Attach it on the front pattern. This way. Make sure your hand is straight. Sometimes everything was on the line Didn't want to be the one who had to say it No, I can't move one at a time Promise I'll put down my pride Don't look back because I mean it when I say it As you see now, I've attached the, the two patterns together. As you see, my father is almost ready. It's almost ready. Now, now, now the next thing I'm going to fit knife my waist. And the formula to use now is your waist by two. Your waist by two. You can see my waist is 32 by 2 is 16. 32 by 2 is 16. And that's how I got my waist. Very simple method to follow. It's 16. My waist is 32. So by, by 2 is 16. Then from that waist, that waist, I'm going to measure my bed holders. What I need is this bed holders. Then I'll measure two, 2 inch backwards. From that, my waist. 2 inch backwards. I mark it from the other side, inside. Yeah? This one is my best holder. What I need is six best holders. I've got one. Now from this flap here, from the flap here, I'm going to measure like ten and a half inch. It's okay, ten and a half inch is okay for the second one. Then for this ten and a half inch. That into the mark was worth. And then I have there, I'm going to divide it into two. Like I have ten, but two is five. And this is my third bit holder. Now I've gotten three of, three of them. I'm going to use this thread to mark the other side. I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to use that thread to mark the other thread. Making this six bit holders. Uh, Like this, I'm going to throw the dot marking to mark the other pattern of it. Very simple. Now I've got my six bed holders. I see, I can see how I got that. Very simple method to follow. And I'm going to fix my waist. I'm going to start fixing the waist. So stay with me. Okay, now to start my waist, I'm going to start from the bed holders. I'm going to first of all sew the bed holders first. 
I reach, I can see how I found the public. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around, throw it away. See if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose, but if I'm gonna lose you. I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this I'm up all day, all night Okay, now, I'm gonna turn it to the normal position The two of them, and I'm going to press them For them, I have to see my bed hook Because I need my bed hook also I like using my fabric for my a bed hook because this one is more preferable. Okay, why I say that this one is more preferable is because iron hook is going to rust. So this one is going to last to the end of that rust. Iron hook will, will rust and spoil. But this one is not it's not going to rust. This one is going to last to the end of that rust. That's why I said that this one is more preferable. Okay, now this one I'm going to press it, my bed holder, I'm going to press it, and that is it after pressing. Now I'm going to cut it into six different places for the six bed holders. For the six bed holders, just six different places. You can see how I'm doing it. It's very simple method to follow. As I see the length, five is okay for the length. Then I will start to my waist now. Okay, now I'm going to start from the left pattern. When the left pattern is, is where I'm going to start. I can see how I'm doing it. Very simple method to follow. I have my waist. Make sure they are equal when you're throwing it. You can see how I'm doing it. It's a simple method. If you have any question, ask on the comment section and I'll get back to you. Now I'm going to stop after the flap. After this flap, then I'm going to, you know, sew my, my bottom flap. As you see, we have stopped. Then fold my bottom flap like this. Then I'm going to measure like four inches, okay, for my bottom flap. Four inches, okay. You can see, it has two. Then folding it, I'm going to start from that place that I stopped. I see we have stopped before. I'm going to start from that place again. Then I'm going to place my bed holders on those markings. Remember, there are three, three bed holders on each pattern.
walking away Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now So long. Okay, you're going to do this place. I'm going to lock the zip like this. That's it. The both side will be equal of the zip. I'm going to lock the zip and mark it with my chalk. So the, the both side will be equal. The zip, the two sides of the zip will be equal. Then I'm going to follow that marking and lock my waist. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to lock my waist. First of all, I'm going to put the, the two patterns together. Make sure they are L4. They are L4. Put the joint of the waist like this. I can see they are L4. Then from that 16 inch that I marked at the initial time, first time I marked 16 inch. Remember, my waist is 32, but 2 is 16, I marked 16 inch. So from, from that 15 inch, I'm going to lock my waist. You can see, this is the mark. From that mark, that 16 inch that I marked at the initial time. I'm going to lock my waist. I'm going to cup my hand inside. I see how, how I'm cupping my hand. Cup it inside. Then I'm going to stop here. I'm going to give it a little gap. I can see how I'm doing it. I'll give it a little gap and I turn the, the, the stitching. I throw it double stitching. So that the waist will be strong. You have to be very careful where you're throwing it. So that you don't miss the line. I take it now, you can see my hand is straight, everything is straight. Both the waist and everything is straight. My next I'm going to do now, I'm going to lock my trouser mount. My trouser mount is 12 by 2, I can see how I fold into 2, by 2 is 6. The trouser mount I divided by 2, which is 6, making it 12 completely. Then I'm going to lock it this way, the both sides. I'm going to make sure the same thing that one will not be bigger than the other one so this is the simple method to follow subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet
walking away Your words are lost on me It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now Hey, when I lose But if I'm gonna lose you I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose it Okay, now the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the button bot- bot- hook I will attack the button at the left side of my flap I will make sure that the button hook is in row with the, the zip You can see I want to attach it like this Then shape the flap. If your flap is too much, you shape it. Now that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to turn it with the landing. Those landing that I cut when I was cutting the other landing. I'm going to attach it. There are two. First of all, I'll put this to the small one. This one. I'm going to turn it like this. Please ask, ask question if you have any question in the comment section. Okay, now after showing this one, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of my flap, of my zip flap. I'm going to place the other landing like this. You can see the opening where I place the opening. Make sure the landing cover the zip for a fast way. If your if your own is too small, no need. Go and cut another one that's more bigger. Okay, now you can see how the landing is now. Very simple. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to turn the flap, the bottom flap, before, before I fit my waistband this way, together like this. Now I'm going to shift my hand from that garment. Uh, that garment. I'm not going to sew it on, on top of the, the garment. I shift my, my hand a little from the garment. Then sew it straight. To the end of that, that my tunnel landing. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, now I'm going to cut the thread. I'm going to cut this way. I do not cut the two of them together at once. Uh, first of all, cut the, the, the first one. Then from here, I'm going to cut the other one. The next thing, I'm going to give it my V neck, my V shape. I love this V shape because it, it makes my, my total waist to look more senior than others. You can call it arrow shape, but I don't know for you. It will make your dwarf voice look more senior. Now, that's what I'm going to do now to fit my waistband. Now, I'm going to shape, keep my thread, the up thread to black before I start to see my waistband. Because I, I'm not going to use this uh, sky blue thread to, you know, to sew my waistband. Of course, I'm using black waistband, that's why I have to change it to black. Assuming that I'm using white waistband, I'm going to change the up thread to white also. So it's something. Now I'm going to fold my bed holder like this and place my waistband on top of the bed holder. And this is, the, this is how I'm going to be doing it to the last bed holder.
walking away your words are lost on me it's taking everything not to turn around throw it away see if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me i can see it now hey when i lose but if i'm gonna lose you I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this I'm up all day, all night, me playing our last fight Now in hindsight, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this Yeah, kinda hate myself sometimes Everything was on the line Didn't want to be the one who had to say No, I can't move on a time Okay, now I'm going to top my flap I still have food the was fun Torn it inside I'll use my stove to turn it very well So that the vinegar will come out very well The arrow shape will come out very well Can I see? The, you know the flap is you can see the other shape now I'm going to sew my flap line before the measure sure you change your upgrade to the normal color that you are using before I mean the sky blue Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to lock the waist. I'm going to lock the best holder. Before you do that, make sure you change your dance trail to black also because my waistband is black. Before you turn, you turn the waistband like this. You can see how I'm doing it. I'm going to lock here first. You can see. Remember, the under thread is black now. I changed it to black because of my waistband. Then I'm going to lock the waistband from from the from that flap. I'm going to sew it round. Sometimes everything was on the line Didn't want to be the one who had to say it No, I can't move one at a time Promise I'll put down my pride Don't look back because I mean it when I say it Okay, now I'm going to make sure that the under landing is balanced. Make sure your under landing is balanced before you sew. Now from here, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to sew it down like this. Make sure you the under thread landing is, is okay. Okay, 
Okay, now I can see what I have. Now my, my work is almost done. You can see both the inside and outside is very neat. Neat work. You can see how neat it is. Now I'm going to fold here together like this. The flap, the two flap together. And lock it. Just watch, watch very carefully. This is just tempo. When you're not holding me I can see it now Hey, when I lose But if I'm gonna lose you I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this I'm up all day, all night, me playing our last fight Now in hindsight, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this Yeah, kinda hate myself sometimes Okay, now this is the end of the tutorial lesson. Here, with my trotter now is now ready. You can see the, the, the inside. Here is the front pattern of the inside. Very neat. You can see? Very neat pattern. Let me turn it so you see the outside. Don't tell me that you don't like this tutorial lesson because this is one of the best tutorial lessons you can find on YouTube. You can see? Foreign standard of it. My trouser is ready and very neat. Here's my trouser. With this, with this pattern, with, with this method, you're good to go anywhere. You can stand as a designer in any competition. This is very neat. This is just one of the simplest methods to follow. That's why I ask us to subscribe to my channel, share and like my video. So you will not miss any of my lessons because I have more to teach you guys on future tutorial. So thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much. You can see? And here is my trouser after pressing it. Very neat and simple and stand. So I would like to see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I would like to see you guys on my next video. So before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button. And also like and share this video to your friends. Because I have more to you guys on my official tutorial like I said before. So thank you so much for watching the video. See you guys on my next video. It's taking everything Not to turn around Throw it away See if you'll let go of me When you're not holding me I can see it now